Hi, this is Danny. Welcome to my channel. You know, ever since that historic prisoner swap between Russia and several European countries and the U.S., which was the largest, I think it was the largest prisoner swap since the Cold War. So it was really an accomplishment. But I've been having these overwhelming feelings at night and I keep rolling around in my brain and keeping me from sleeping. And what they are is that there are prisoners that were left behind that we didn't get out. And I'm picking up on their feelings of disappointment and um, hope, things like that. I think I'll read on each of the four prisoners that are left that are American. They are Travis Leak, Gordon Black, um, Christina Carlina, Carlina, I think that's how you say it, and Mark Fogel. And we'll see kind of how they're feeling and, and the energy around them. And um, hopefully we'll get them home soon. I want to tell you that I timestamp my readings so you can go down and pick the one that's most important to you to listen to. Or you can watch this back at 1.25 frames and uh, it goes a little bit faster and then you can watch the whole thing a lot faster. So I'm going to get right to it now and let's get down to the cards. Today I'm going to use my wizard's deck. There were four prisoners that were left behind, uh, American prisoners. Now I'm going to read on each one. And I'm going to save Mark Fogel the last because he is deemed the, quote, most important. I don't think any one person is more important than the other, but he had a job that made him more valuable asset. So we will take a look at them. Okay, the first one I want to do is Travis Lake Lakey. Leaky or Lakey, L-E-A-K-E. He was a musician. He was convicted on drug charges and sentenced to prison. Travis. Travis, how are you? Come on. Okay. Okay. The first card I'm pulling is um, the Eight of Pentacles. He's thinking about all of the, about his work, about his music. Um, he's, he's not, he doesn't allow an instrument. He is allowed some writing paper, so he's been writing some music. He was hoping that he would be part of the prisoner swap, but he wasn't counting on it. He didn't, uh, he had had no indication from anyone that it was happening and he really knew very little about it. But anyway, he is, he is being allowed to do some work on his own time, if he has time. The second is the Nine of Pentacles. He is um, he 
he's he's uh, pretty self-sufficient. I don't know how much family he has looking out for him. His parents, maybe. I don't think he has a family. Um, I haven't looked that up. I should probably do that, but it doesn't feel like it. He's pretty, pretty much an individual. He's he's different. He's um, independent and and free thinking and really not at all what uh, Russia wants to have in talking about them in their own country. Mother Russia, I would say, the Queen of Swords. Yes, uh, the Queen of Swords, she's got him under his control or her control. Uh, he feels pretty hopeless about that. But the Seven of Wands is talking about standing his ground here. There's a lot of forces going on. He's, he's waiting. He's hoping. He's persevering. He's not one of those guys to give up. Um, he's going to, you know, when it, it's time, if he has to do the time, he'll do it. And if they can get him out sooner, so much the better. But he's, um, yeah, he's pretty steadfast in his um, defense. They may be working on a new defense for him, or he might have some lawyers working on this now, too. This is a defense card. And then the outcome here is the Ten of Wands. And that's a good card. The Ten of Wands is about hard work, but it's also about completion. So, you know, he's taken responsibility for either what he did or what he didn't do, but he's, 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 he's taken the sentence. Whatever the burden is, he's accepted that. And he, um, I think this that the, they he will either complete his sentence or he will be released, um, but not right away. So he's he's going to be there a while. So those are the cards for Travis Leak or Leaky. I think he has, I didn't feel like he had much of an awareness of this swap was even going on. Uh, he might be so isolated that, that he really doesn't know. He does have lawyers and family working on his behalf and, and they may have told him, but I don't think that he, you know, not getting newspapers, not getting uh, the news and very limited contact, so. Now we're going to do Gordon Black. Now he was an American soldier and he was convicted of stealing and making threats of murder. So probably when um, uh, he was being arrested, he uh, flew up and said, hey, you guys. <clears throat> This is the You guys can all take a flying leap. I'll kill you. This is for entertainment purposes only, YouTube. Only my feelings and my intuitions on what is happening. This is for Gordon Black. Gordon Black is the Eight of Swords, comes up first. He's detained and contained. The Page of Swords. The King of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. And the 
experiment. Well, Gordon, Gordon. Gordon is feeling very, very restricted. The Eight of Swords. Uh, this is kind of, um, he may be in isolation. He's, he's very restricted. And the Page of Swords. Um, usually our messages, pages are messages or communications or things like that. So he, he, he did know about the swap and he was maybe curious about it, but he, again, he had no idea that it could involve him or he didn't think that he would be involved. It's really interesting. Um, so for the, those two, uh, they, both of them, they either didn't really know it was happening or they had a limited idea of what was happening. I wonder if, you know, this was all just sprung on these people at the last minute, the ones that were going and the ones that were staying. Uh, but, but there was some small communication. And here we have the King of Pentacles hiding hiding the money, that leadership, wealth, stability, abundance. I think this, I, I don't think this is Russia. I think this are, are the other countries that are, were involved in this swap and that they had more high value to them targets they wanted to bring home. He was an American. Um, I think there were only so many, um, it's almost like Putin said, okay, I've got, I want these nine, eight people and you can have this many, but no more. And they had to figure out among the different countries that had, that were involved in this, which ones they were going to bring home. So U.S. may only have had three spots to fill. And uh, they had to pick a priority. And this American soldier um, was not their highest priorities. Uh, it's sad to say I didn't, I don't mean it in disrespect to him at all or to the government. They, they had a choice. They had to make their choices. So... That was it. And I think here you are. Here, Here's your choices. Um, they're one, two. So they brought three home. And they left four. There you go. Right there. Those are your choices. And of course, the end is the hermit. So, solitude, inner guidance, wisdom. He's kind of a hot-headed guy, I think, by the looks of, of the way that they restrained him. He was, he's not happy being there, and he lets them know it every chance he gets. Um, I'm picking on... Um, but he's learning... He's learning. Um, uh, to have more wisdom and more peace. And uh, again, I believe he is in isolation. So I think each one, so far the two um, gentlemen I've read on are isolated from each other and from other Americans and probably the general population of their prison. The next one we'll read on is Casina Carolina. What a beautiful name. Now, Casina was uh, detained for allegedly 
raising funds for the Ukrainian military. And she was actually collecting funds for humanitarian aid and had donated these funds that were earmarked for Ukraine. And the um, organization she donated to is a U.S. based nonprofit. Excuse me, nonprofit that says it provides medical care in disaster areas and those in, affected by the Russian invasion. So, Casina Carolina, let's see about you. These two came out at once. Man, she is uh, definitely feeling stuck. Um, things are stalled for her, kind of. Um, she knew about this, I think. Here's the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is about confidence and determination. And so, she, I mean, she's working on her... Um, release her lawyers and things are working on it. Um, but she feels very stuck at the moment. However, this page of wands says that there might be some movement in her um, case. Um, they're exploring new avenues to get her released and the U.S. is actually working with them to do that, I'm feeling, because here we are with the cups. And this uh, Knight of Cups is also movement, and that is emotional. So I think this, th this is, I see more hope for her to be released next than I did um, for those two gentlemen, however, she knew about this and she is broken hearted that she was not in the group. So, uh, I think she, she was an idealist, um, giving money to help the people of Ukraine and they snatched her up. And there she is. She's a ballerina. I imagine it's really difficult for her, but she probably is still keeping up on her exercises in, in dance moves in prison. I don't know if she's sentenced yet. She is looking at up to 20 years in prison. That's a long time for a donation to the wrong organization and being in the wrong place at the wrong time also. Okay, the last one I'm going to read on is Mark Fogel. Mark, where are you? Let's see if you can come through here. Now he's been in prison since 2021. He's already been sentenced for a 14 year sentence. He was caught with less than an ounce of marijuana, which he used for um, back pain. So less than an ounce of marijuana and he has 14 years in prison. Well, you know, we used to do that in our country to our people that we caught with marijuana also. So our attitude about that has changed, but it's not that way worldwide. And traveling with marijuana is 
risky. So let's see about Mark. Okay, well, this is interesting. Yeah, they are worked really hard. They wanted to get Mark out, um, but they were not able to. Either they weren't willing to release him or something, but this is a really a, uh, a uh, card. Look at all the work that they put into trying to get him out. His team, his lawyers, his parents, whatever, they really worked hard for Mark and he just didn't, uh, they just couldn't get, get him out. I think he's really, I see why he, uh, I mean, he's got a huge team working for him and he's, he's going to make it. So this is another one where there just weren't enough spots uh, available to get these guys out. Um, this is the uh, the seven of pentacles and sevens are uh, reflection and insight. But you see, again, there are um, choices here. So he's he's. Um, He needs to be patient. Um, it might be quite a bit longer time till they get him out there, still working on it. Um, but that is. So with the Seven of Pentacles, um, you can see that it, there, he didn't have a spot but they're still working on it. They are still long-term team work on this. They, he needs to be patient because uh, they are working on it. The government and his team, they just couldn't get it done this time, And but they're still negotiating for more. This King of Wands right here is talking about leadership. And so the leadership of our country is working on getting him out. Okay, and the King of Cups, that's, uh, that's a big yes. That's the, yes, they're going to get him. Um, he, he's coming from rough waters into calm. And there are a lot of emotions surrounding this, but he's, um, but he'll, he'll make it. He just didn't make it this time. Mark wants to me to pull uh, another card. Okay, okay. Um, this Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is about passion and impulsiveness, and I mean, he wants us to hurry up. <laughs> That's big, <laughs> kind of what it is. Like, hurry up and get me out of here. Hurry up. Yeah, he knew about the swap. He thought he, actually, I think he thought he was going to be in it. His team had, had told him they were doing one. Keep your fingers crossed. We're going to get you in there. Um, they're just, there just weren't enough spots that we were, um, we were given. So next time, Mark. All right. Well, that was a really interesting group. So I want to know if, what is this release of the hostages mean about the Putin and U.S. relations? Does it mean he's thawing towards uh, the U.S. a little bit, becoming a little more malleable? Uh, maybe he wants to do more negotiations on Ukraine. Is that going to happen? Is he showing a good faith here? I know part one of the reasons he really wanted this exchange was he had one gentleman he wanted 
also there, and I can't remember his name right now, but I'll post it in the, up here. And, um, but I think that's why he was willing to do so much that uh, gives so many of the prisoners up. Let's see, how is Putin and the U.S., how are Putin and the U.S. relations, are they going to change because of this prisoner swap? Is Putin having a Is Putin trying to be the first one to open uh, negotiations for Ukraine? Whoa, I tossed them on the floor. Now that has nothing to do with, they weren't jumping out. I was just clumsy. Yeah, they weren't jumping out. I was just clumsy. all want to come out. Okay, we're just going to use those. I'm going to take this, put it on the bottom of the deck, and let's take a look at what's going on here. Usually, this is how this works. Okay, so past, present, future. So in the past, we're talking about the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is about happiness, family, fulfillment, harmony. And that's about the question, you know, is this going to make more harmony between Russia and the U.S. and the EU? Is he more, does he want to do further negotiations? And is he going to start um, with Ukraine? This is in the past. These are questions what we have for him. In, and it may be that he uh, wants to do some negotiations and get himself out of Ukraine. So maybe this is a first step to doing that. Um, this is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands. Um, yeah, it's about the struggle. Uh, this is Ukraine. This is about the conflict and competition. And he's getting his behind handed to him over there a little bit. And and he's uh, running out of resources and people. And the, his people aren't happy about the war. So I think that uh, maybe he's looking at um, some negotiation. Although with the Queen of Wands, I would say that he's not giving an inch. He's not going to give up. Um, he wants, in his negotiations, he wants pieces of Ukraine, and that's it. And if they don't give him up, he won't stop the war. I mean, he's very determined on those points. They're the pieces of, that he has, he wants to keep. And then it's all about this balance, temperance, and patience and purpose. So he's very patient. Putin is very patient. He wants what he wants. He's open to some negotiations on the war. This is past. Now that's present. Let's see see about the uh, present exchange and if that has anything to do with it. That is the lovers. Or is it? No, I'm sorry. That is the two of cups. So that's the same type of thing though. Partnership and and yeah, he wants, uh, he wants to do some negotiating. That's very interesting. And this is in the present. This is in the past, where he he thought bringing you. He looks at Ukraine as his family, his country. It got 
split off, but that's really should be part of Russia. And, and that's his, and he's very adamant about it and patient. But currently he's willing to do some negotiations. And then we have the um, death card. So the death card is endings and new beginnings. So he is very willing to end this war. I think he's ready to to stop it and get on to other things. This is kind of ruining his economy. So let's um, see what else. We have the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is about expansion, um, looking ahead. So he still, he wants to negotiate, but he still wants those pieces. He still, he, he can't let go of that. That's part of what he wants in the negotiations. And there's no negotiating past that point. He's willing. He's got plenty of people willing to come to him and negotiate. He wants to end it. He wants to start new. But he's not giving up the territory that he's got. And the Ace of Wands. Now... Potential, potentially. So I think you'll see him, I think you'll see him coming to the negotiation table very soon. He wants to end this, but he's not negotiating. He might be at the table, but he's not negotiating. He's He still wants what he wants, and he wants us to negotiate, or Ukraine to negotiate and say, Oh yeah, you can have the parts of our country and Ukraine is not going to do that either. So they're kind of a stale stalemate. He he would come to the table. Okay, here's the future. Actually, the future looks very bright. You can see that. It's the 6 of swords. So the Six of Swords is about tradition and moving on and healing and uh, this is the future that they will come to some sort of an agreement. Um, actually, he may be getting some of those things that he wants. I, Zelensky says no, but he, I mean, Putin is happy about the, about the nego negotiations. The Two of Pentacles um, is about balancing priorities. So, It just depends on those two leaders um, where their priorities are. And the, the priorities are in direct opposition to each other, which is why they're in this war. So I guess Zelensky has to decide whether more loss of life against giving up those um, some small piece of his country to Russia is worth it. And Russia has to figure out if his economy and pressure from outside forces and things like that, um, if he can overcome those, be patient, <coughs> sorry, and be patient enough to, uh, to hang in there long enough to win. But um, it it does say in the future there they will have a um, a negoti a good negotiation. Let's see if I can I can uh, look at the last card and see what that is. Oh, it is the fool. So the fool, they're kind of a, this might be a quick a quick uh, resolution. You just might. One day that they just might 
you know, I don't think this is a big, long, drawn-out thing. I think one day they just might decide the day's the day we're going to we're going to do this. This this doesn't look that far off in the future. Fool kind of just steps in uh, spontaneously, and maybe Putin will. Um, override the negotiators and step in and say, yeah, let's make a deal. Okay. Very interesting. All right. Well, that does it for today. Kind of uh, moving out of the Russian mode. And we'll do some more tomorrow. So I'll see you then.